Hey everyone, I'm Unique. Welcome back to my channel. And at this point, this is the Dyson Fan Club. If you've seen my previous video where I compared the Dyson hair dryer, this one right here, the Supersonic hair dryer, to the T3 My Girl, I still don't know what that thing is called. <laughs> I'll just link it up in the cards above so you guys can see. You know how much I love that Dyson hair dryer. Well, my husband bought me the Corral, the flat iron for Mother's Day. And so I had no wants or desires or need to flat iron my hair. Actually, we're about to go on vacation and I will be getting braids very soon. But how could I not test it? Plus, when I showed you guys on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll link it right here. Follow me over on Instagram and you always get the real-time tea, okay? So I showed you guys over on Instagram that that's what I received for Mother's Day. And of course, y'all was like, yeah, go ahead, girl. Give us the review. We know it's coming. Go ahead, flat iron your hair. Let's do this, okay? So here it is. If you are new to my channel, please do hit subscribe, stick around, go and look it through all of the other videos that I have. I do a lot of like self-care from head to toe, inside to out self-care. And again, if you've seen that other blow dryer review, then you know that I use the Dyson to achieve this sleek blowout. I did use a heat protecting spray from Chi. It's around here somewhere. I'll just insert the picture so you can see, girl, because I'm not getting up to go get it. Let's be real. So I do already have my hair in a blow-dried state. For those of you who are new to my channel, I do have type 4 hair. Um, I'm not really into the whole naming letter system. I just know that it's type 4 hair, okay? And then also another thing to note that I do have low porosity hair and my hair is on the finer end of the spectrum. I have quite a bit of it, but my hair is not uh, overwhelmingly thick and the, the individual strands themselves are fine, which makes me more prone to heat damage. One of the things that drew me to this Dyson flat iron is because it should be better for my hair type when it comes to straightening. And you know, I'm not a hairdresser girl. I'm not, we just gonna see how close to a silk press we can get because I'm gonna be real with you. This hair is probably gonna go into a ponytail. Cause that, that's my, that's my thing. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I love a good ponytail, girl. I will also note that he also got me the gift edition. I'm not sure if there's multiple editions that you can purchase, but he got me the gift edition that comes with the paddle detangling brush and a comb. I also have a fine tooth comb here to help me make clean parts cause that is the key when you're flat ironing natural, curly, kinky, coily hair like mine. So, let's get into it, shall we? Ooh, did you hear that sound? That means that our flat iron is ready. I went ahead and sectioned my hair off. This is the first section that I will be using the corral on. I currently have it at a heat setting of 330. It has three different heat settings, 330, 365 degrees, and 410. These are all in Fahrenheit. I want to see what it does at 330 degrees Fahrenheit with my texture hair. Um, because like I said, my hair is more prone to heat damage. So if I can get my hair to be as straight as possible or as straight to my liking for a ponytail hairstyle where I don't need my hair to be all the way sleek. The thing that I am most excited for is the fact that you can use this flat iron cord free. <laughs> Listen, if you are a natural hair girl or, you know, you have hair on your head that you flat iron, okay, you know the struggle of dealing with the cord, of the cord wrapping around on you, of your flat iron falling off of whatever surface you put it on because the cord drug it off. <sighs> you know that struggle of holding your arm, cord all in your face. Dyson said, mm -mm we're not gonna do that and the base actually has the connector for the battery so it can charge so in between use I'm just going to keep putting it back on the base to keep it charged at the heat temperature that I need for the next pass I'm just going to section my hair into smaller sections 
let's just do a fairly small piece for this first pass especially since we're going to be using it at 330 degrees Fahrenheit just to see what it does we want to give it the best chance at straightening this hair okay so I've always used the chase method that's using a fine tooth comb first and then chasing behind it with your flat iron this is the first time ever that I'm going to be using this so you're going to get my reaction in real time okay so holding it pretty close okay you can get really close to the root without um burning your scalp because girl we all been there before especially if you had a mom flat iron in your hair <laughs> So I'm just taking my time based on how I saw the other people use it and my husband tutorial before I started. <laughs> okay. That is pretty straight. I do need a trim, so don't come for me. I haven't gotten a trim. We've been in a panoramic. Leave me be. But that is really straight, especially for 330 degrees Fahrenheit. Cause I'm used to having to bump that thing up to 400. Okay, look, let's see if y'all can see how straight that got. Can you tell? Yeah. Okay, so let's just keep going, shall we? I think I'm going to keep it at 330 degrees Fahrenheit for now. So let's speed through this thing, okay? Okay, so what I'm noticing so far is that my hair still feels very soft. Um, I don't have that burning smell that you know sometimes you can get when using flat irons. You have that like burning product smell. I don't have that. If you saw, there wasn't a lot of steam coming off of the flat iron, which with the hair protectant that I'm using, usually I do see some steam. So that's very interesting. And it's very smooth. Like the flat iron is not catching on the hair where I don't know if y'all can see in the plates. Let's see if we can get it to focus. So you can see on the plates, there's no hair that got caught in the flat iron which is something that i tend to experience using other conventional flat iron so that's make me very happy and like i said for 330 degrees fahrenheit this is she pretty straight she is pretty straight i'm not mad at it and i'm getting pretty close to the roots because the way the flat iron is designed is it allows you to get pretty close to your roots without burning your scalp so I'm not having to struggle to flat iron my root. So let's just keep going, shall we? I am very much impressed and I wish you can feel my hair. Like, I am really impressed. And keep in mind, this is still at 330 degrees Fahrenheit. Like, I haven't even bumped it up. So I'm also finding that you do not have to squeeze the flat iron very hard either. Sorry, little hands don't have to get that cramp sensation. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So this is that section, completely flat ironed. I think for 330 degrees Fahrenheit, it got pretty straight. I think I could get it straighter. I'm going to do the other side at 365 degrees Fahrenheit and we'll be able to compare to see if there's that big of a difference. If you are like me and you are straightening your hair for like a sleek ponytail type of hairstyle, 330 degrees is, it's enough. I can go from this and still achieve that really sleek ponytail that I'm looking for. But yeah, let's just experiment and see what my hair does at 365. I love that this is not on the cord because I can hold it any way I want.
it just impresses me how flat my roots are getting with ease and without feeling like I'm setting my scalp on fire. It just brings me back to those days when my mom used to hot comb my hair and my poor little ears would get a beating. <laughs> Oh, you be holding your hair, your ears down for dear life, just hoping and praying she don't get your knuckles instead of your ears. <laughs> the front of this flat iron does not burn. This part does not get hot. So my ears are safe. Okay, so I finished the second side at 365 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know if y'all can tell, but girl, you can tell. Look, look at the difference. This side is definitely way more sleek. Even the like the shaft of my hair looks more a little more shiny definitely more sleek and refined. This girl, you know, she's straight. And then, of course, humidity is a thing. So she's had a little bit more time to settle and poof up some. But again, this would be, this is perfectly fine for moving on to a sleek ponytail. You don't need your hair to be this sleek. And I'm sure at 410, I would get an even better result. I'm just not gonna go there because I just, it's just not necessary for what I'm doing today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the top portion and I'll be back with my final thoughts. Okay, so let's talk about it because I lied. I lied to you. And I totally bumped this flat iron up to 410 degrees, girl, and flat ironed the rest of my hair because it was looking so nice. I personally have not been able to get my hair this straight um, at home. And I haven't seen my hair this, this straight in a long time. So I am very, very pleased. I think it did a really good job. I obviously need a trim. I, my layers have grown out quite a bit, so I probably will get a haircut to give myself a little bit more body. So I think what I'm going to do is bump my ends, give it a little bit of a curl. But before I do that, I did want to give you my final thoughts, right? My hair is so smooth. It is so smooth and it feels so good. It's not stiff at all. Like, <laughs> look, look, I'll just turn around. Yeah. Sis is not stiff at all, okay? She not stiff at all. I definitely think a stylist would have made it um, more silky looking for sure. But for a novice like me at home, straightening their hair at home, girl, Dyson makes me look like a professional. <laughs> Don't let me get a haircut and come back in here. Okay, I'm gonna look like a whole professional. You're gonna be hiring, I'm just kidding, I'm not hireable. I'm just kidding. The last time I personally have straightened my hair, all the way out has been a few years and I had to have my fan on to make sure that I didn't sweat my hair out as I was going because it is a workout okay it is the Olympics trying to straighten natural hair in like a real press state it's the Olympics Olympic trials first round might even be third round <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot and I just, I can't believe how nice and how flowy it is. Like you can tell now why I said that my hair is on the finer side. When it's in its natural state, it gives the illusion that I have a, a bunch, a whole leap of hair. But when it is flat ironed like this, you see I have finer hair. Not having a core changes the game. It just changes the game. Not having to worry about where the cord is going to be and not wrapping around my neck or in an awkward place or dragging the flat iron down on the floor. That is a game changer. The stand is a game changer so that you're not burning up towels and stuff because you know that we put towels down on our countertops to keep this <laughs> flat iron from burning up our countertops and stuff. I didn't have to do that because I have a stand amazing girl are you serious i'm about to go pick up my kids i'm gonna be in carpool line like this hot you're oh you're coming yes open the door come in how was 
your day? Did you have a good day? Oh, I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I think I'm gonna drop some curls in it, give it a little bit of body, and I'm going to do that with a flat iron just to see what it looks like when I bump my ends with it. And yeah, I'll be back with the final reveal, okay? Okay, bye. <laughs> Y'all, I had to come back to show you because, do you see that? I did that with the flat iron. It That is such a pretty flat iron curl. I mean, look. I had to show you because that was just beautiful. It just, it, let's see. Look, I can turn all the way around with the flat iron. Do you see? I can turn all the way around with the flat iron. No cords. That's it's beautiful. And because this plate has these curved edges already, this process is so easy. You're not fighting with the flat iron at all to get your hair curled. So nice. Oh, so easy. I love it. Uh, this is the final result. After I added a little bit of curl to it, you know, gave it some body. She's still swinging. She's, she's still <laughs> stiff wear. So yeah, that is my final result. Would I recommend the Dyson Corral? Yeah, definitely. De definitely if, if you can girl I think it's a good investment if you do straighten your hair or your wigs extensions I think that is a great investment if you haven't watched my review on the Dyson supersonic hair dryer go ahead and click this video to watch that one next and hit like if you like this kind of content hit subscribe for more just like this one and I will see you all in the next one bye <laughs> Bye, y'all.